NASA's Lucy spacecraft was silently scanning the Trojan asteroids orbiting Jupiter, a mission meant to uncover the untouched relics of our solar system's birth, when something happened no one expected. The live feed, steady for hours, suddenly went black. Just moments before, an object with sharp, unnatural edges had flickered across the view. It didn't look like any asteroid ever recorded. It didn't look natural at all. Picture this. You're 300 million miles from Earth, staring at rocks older than our planet itself, and your cameras catch a glimpse of something geometric, something deliberate. That's the scene Lucy found itself in. If mysteries like this fascinate you as much as they do me, make sure you subscribe now, because we're tracking every detail of Lucy's mission. Turned what's unfolding could change how you see our place in the universe forever. Lucy's cameras were locked onto these Trojan asteroids, space fossils floating undisturbed for over 4.5 billion years when the strange signal appeared. For decades, scientists have whispered theories that these Trojan swarms might be hiding more than just inert rocks. But when Lucy's camera feed cut at the exact instant, something geometric flashed across the frame. Speculation erupted. Was it a glitch? A cosmic ray hitting the detector? Or something far more extraordinary? Something that doesn't want to be seen? What makes this moment terrifying is the setting itself. The Trojan asteroids sit in gravitationally stable parking spots, like cosmic laybys, where objects can drift for millions of years without expending energy. If you wanted to hide a probe or a monitoring station in our solar system, you wouldn't leave it in obvious orbit around a planet. You'd put it here among the Trojans, where it could vanish among the debris and stay there waiting. Waiting for what, though? And waiting for whom? Lucy wasn't even supposed to reach its main Trojan targets until 2027. So what exactly did it see out there in the darkness of space, years ahead of schedule? And why did the signal stop right at that moment? The questions slice through everything we thought we knew about our cosmic neighborhood. The Trojan asteroids are not random. They're locked into Jupiter's orbit at two gravitational sweet spots called Lagrange points. Nature's cosmic parking lots. Objects there don't drift away. They stay orbiting quietly. Now imagine three possible explanations for what Lucy glimpsed. First, an ancient probe hypothesis. If any civilization, ours or someone else's, wanted to monitor the solar system without being detected, this is exactly where they'd place their equipment. Maximum stability, minimum energy required, perfect invisibility. Second possibility, a fragment of mega engineering. Imagine a reflective shard from some colossal construction project, a solar sail perhaps, or a massive collector panel, drifting for eons. Under Lucy's high-resolution cameras, it would shine like polished metal against the black void, Third scenario, and this one sends a chill down your spine, a captured interstellar object. Remember Oumuamua, that elongated visitor that tumbled through our solar system in 2017? What if something similar got trapped in Jupiter's gravitational embrace millions of years ago? Something with an unnatural shape that simply shouldn't exist here. If true, this would not be just another asteroid flyby. It would mean our solar system has been holding on to an engineered object for billions of years right under our noses. Think of the Trojan swarms as cosmic vaults, billions of years of celestial traffic, and almost nothing ever leaves. If you wanted to hide something, anything, this is where you'd put it. Gravitational forces keep everything locked in place, like a safety deposit box of the gods. But what Lucy carries on board could make or break this mystery. This isn't a typical space probe. Lucy is equipped with some of the most advanced detection systems NASA has ever built. The star of the show is LaLaurie, the long-range reconnaissance imager, capable of spotting details smaller than a football field from hundreds of thousands of miles away. But Lucy isn't just taking pictures. It's running sophisticated AI, sifting through thousands of images, automatically flagging anything that doesn't fit. It's a 3i system an artificial intelligence built not just to record, but to recognize anomalies. That means Lucy can catch things humans might miss for years. And what if Lucy's 3 eye flagged something it couldn't categorize? Sharp edges where there should be curves, reflective surfaces where everything else is dull and pitted, mathematical precision screaming artificial design. That's not just a possibility. It's exactly what Lucy's instruments were built to find. They can even detect temperature anomalies, unusual mineral signatures and regular patterns, 
anything that smells of structure rather than randomness. In short, Lucy is designed to spot the impossible, and here's the part that makes scientists uneasy. There's a growing belief in the research community that three eye systems aboard spacecraft will be the first to recognize something not natural, long before humans do. These systems process data faster, cleaner, and without bias. If Lucy's three eye already saw something extraordinary, it could be sitting in a data buffer right now, waiting for human eyes. This isn't the first time a feed has gone dark at a suspicious moment. Between 2014 and 2016, the International Space Station's live feed cut off multiple times, just as bright, unexplained objects drifted into frame. NASA called them routine glitches, signal losses as the station moved out of range, but the timing raised eyebrows worldwide. Apollo 15 had its own moment in 1971, when a bright light appeared above an astronaut during a moonwalk. For decades, that image sparked rumors of alien monitoring. NASA eventually called it a lens flare, but only after years of speculation. Even Voyager, the granddaddy of deep space missions, had its anomalies. Unusual readings. Delayed releases of images. They called it verification procedures, but the pattern was always the same. Unexpected anomaly, feed cut, long pause, and then a careful explanation. Here's where Lucy is different. All those other incidents involved known regions, places we've already studied, orbited, mapped. Lucy is headed into a part of space no human eyes have ever seen up close, a region untouched for billions of years, a cosmic graveyard where anything, literally anything, could be hiding. The Trojan asteroids are already weird enough without adding mysterious objects to the mix. Scientists divide them into two distinct families, red Trojans and gray Trojans. This shouldn't happen. If they formed in the same region, they should look the same. Instead, they're as different as night and day. The red ones contain complex carbon chains. The gray ones are metallic and rocky. Some Trojans shine brighter than they should, reflecting light like polished metal instead of absorbing it like normal rock. When Lucy scans these objects, it's seeing reflections more like engineered materials than natural ones. Take the Euripides family, a cluster formed when a larger asteroid shattered. Their compositions don't match, like breaking a clay pot and finding pieces of steel and glass mixed inside. Imagine one of these asteroids flashing like a mirror in the darkness. That's exactly what some Trojans do when sunlight hits them just right. Most asteroids are dark, irregular, porous. If Lucy spotted something with flat edges or a consistent shine, even for a second, that would stand out like a skyscraper in a desert. This brings us to a theory scientists have quietly discussed for decades. Lurker probes. SETI researchers believe an advanced civilization could place monitoring stations at gravitationally stable points throughout a solar system, perfect for observing without being detected. Earth has five Lagrange points with the Moon, and scientists have proposed searching them for artificial objects. But Jupiter's Trojan points are even better. Massive, stable, empty, they're cosmic blind spots. Thousands of asteroids drifting in formation provide natural cover for anything artificial. A probe could sit there for millions of years, powered by solar panels completely undetected. Could an ancient civilization, whether from our system or interstellar space, have placed stations there? The physics is undeniable. These regions are cosmic parking meters that never expire. And they've been stable for over four billion years, more than enough time for multiple civilizations to rise and fall. If anyone wanted to study the inner solar system, including Earth, this is where they'd watch from. Silent observers, recording everything. Our oceans forming, life emerging, human civilization rising. All of it monitored from the shadows, and here's the shattering truth. Lucy is the first spacecraft in history to even go near these regions. No human eyes have ever seen them. The Trojan swarms could be hiding probes older than humanity, relics from a time before our species even existed. If Lucy confirms unusual structures, it would rewrite not just our textbooks, but our place in the universe. We'd no longer be the observers. We'd be the observed. And that realization would raise terrifying questions about planetary defense. What are these objects reporting? Are they passive? Are they active? Are they still functioning? The psychological impact alone would be staggering. Every major event in human history, wars, inventions, extinctions, could have been witnessed by silent machines parked at Jupiter's side. 
Yet there's also hope. If these probes exist and haven't interfered, it suggests a neutral or benevolent presence. Maybe they're just recording. Maybe they're waiting for us to grow up enough to notice them. The discovery would ignite a new space race, a scramble to reach the Trojans, to touch, to understand, to speak.